3.5.2, read the extract below and answer the questions that follow. So food security crisis for South Africa. Although considerably lower than over two decades ago, a large percentage of the South African population continues to struggle with food insecurity. So we got to validate the statement here. Tin fish will assist South Africans to fight food insecurity. How so? Well, simply put, tin fish, it just lasts for a, a longer time, a longer period of time. It's got a long shelf life can also be bought in, in bulk. It's also very nutritious. It's healthy. It's also exempted from VAT, uh, making it a lot more affordable. Um, and yeah, it can also be eaten without cooking. So you know, if you don't have access to like a heating source or anything like that, you can, you can still just consume it straight out of the tin. 3.6, um, study the information below and answer the questions that follow. So the Dagwood sandwich, it consists of toasted white bread, two beef patties, a fried egg, processed cheese, lettuce, tomato, not very healthy. 3.6.1, name the cause of type 1 diabetes. So simply put, the pancreas might be damaged and it does not produce insulin or, well, enough insulin. 3.6.2, state how type 1 diabetes is managed. So, well, insulin injections or even regular exercise. And 3.6.3, proper 8 marker here. Uh, please look top left. Okay, let's do it. So evaluate the suitability of the Dagwood sandwich for a person with diabetes. Well, it's, it's very high in energy or kilojoules and, well, therefore calories, which is not good for a person with diabetes because diabetics, they, they need to maintain a healthy weight. But the Dagwood sandwich, it contains white bread, uh, which is high in refined carbohydrates and starch. And it also has a high GI. It has a very high glycemic index as well. That could cause a sharp increase in the blood glucose levels or uh, hyperglycemia. The white bread, uh, it has a low fiber content, which is not good as the fiber slows down digestion and delays the feeling of hunger, which uh, makes you feel full for longer. And last one, uh, tomatoes and lettuce. It's, uh, it's rich in dietary fiber, which prevents uh, overeating and fluctuation of blood glucose, of blood, 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 coast, blood glucose levels. So just in summary, the Dagwood sandwich, it's not particularly suitable uh, for a person who's diabetic. It will not be able to maintain the blood, the blood glucose level required. Look, although it's got lettuce and tomato slices, uh, processed cheese, that's a big no-no. One fried egg, no-no. Two beef patties, no-no. And toasted white bread. So yeah, oh, does the lettuce and do the lettuce and tomato slices like mitigate? All these other threats, like, no, no, it, it's not a prevention. So you can't just be like, oh, it's got lettuce and tomato, it's healthy. Because there are the factors here, like the Dagwood sandwich, it contains these beef patties, processed cheese, fried, and fried eggs that are really high in fat. And patties also contain loads and loads of trans fats, which should be avoided. They should be restricted because diabetic people are more prone to heart disease and stroke. So yeah, that's, that's basically the question.